Applications of differentiation. We're still going to focus on stationary points. You will find this on page 289 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c. Let's look at an example. Find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve, this is uh, to the fourth root, and determine the nature of the stationary points. Okay, so take your function and differentiate it. Now to find the stationary points, you're just going to put this dy by dx equal to zero. Then you're going to factorize and you're going to get your value of x is zero and your value of x is three. Now, let's just find the y coordinates. Now remember, to find the y coordinates, I'm going to substitute this value of x into the original equation. So I get 2, so 0 and 2, and if I substitute 3 in there, I will get negative 25. Okay, now, because we always, we like, for example, or it's a very fast method, I'm going to go for the second derivative. So let's do that. So as soon as I find the second derivative, remember, we are making use of this function. So now I'm going to, let's just find it. So I'm going to say 4 times 3, it's 12x squared minus 24x. So the stationary point, we're first going to test this stationary point, 0 and 2. So 0 and 2. So I substitute in the second derivative 0, the value of x. Oh, and what do I get? zero. So I don't know if it's positive or negative, it's zero, it's neutral. So this is very important. When you get zero, we use the first derivative test to determine the nature of the stationary points. So we have to go to the previous one. We know if it's zero, it's a point of inflection. But now, we just want to see, is it a, okay, let's just, it's not nice. Um, is it decreasing or is it increasing? And I can do this by going back to the previous method. So I'm just taking a value before, say negative 0 0.1, and a value after 0 0.1. And I substitute. And if it's negative, it's coming down. At 0, it's 0. And then it's negative again, so this will be my point of inflection. It's a decreasing function. But now, we must still test the other one. So the other one is 3 and negative 25. I still put it in the second derivative, and I get 36. And remember, it's positive, so it's going to be a minimum stationary point. Now, I want to show you, they didn't ask you to sketch the graph, but I want you to show you, I'm using this program, if I want to just quickly see how this sketch will look, and this is called Symbol Lab, and I'm quickly going to show it to you. Okay. You can just go to the internet, and you just press in Symbol Lab, and then, and I'm going to show you, then you, you just, it's not a solution, you want to graph. So just press graph, and then you press in, I just want to move it a little bit down. Okay. Okay. There is the function. I just don't want it to disappear. There is the function. So I just press in x to the power 4 minus 4x3 plus 2. And this is very interesting. Can you see that? I just want to move this a little bit. Okay, where is my two points? Okay, so what was my point of inflection? Did you see my point of inflection? It's coming and it's making it at 0 and 2. That's the point of inflection. That's what I was getting there. And then this at 3, 3 and negative 25. Do you see? At negative 25, there's 25. There is my minimum point. They didn't ask you to do the sketch. They could have, okay? But I think they will rather do it as soon in chapter 8 when we are going to work out the values of x. But this is a very nice program. If you just want to quickly see that this makes sense, okay, then, then you can use this method. Okay, and you just go to Symbolab, you go to graphing, you press in your function, 
and it's just giving you a nice sketch. Remember that. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1A. Y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 2x to the power of 3. First step, let's differentiate. Okay, now if I want to find the stationary points, so 4 stationary points dy by dx will be equal to 0. So 4 x to the power of 3 minus 6x squared will be equal to 0. Now I factorize. So it's 2x squared and that is going to give me 2x minus 3 equals 0. So if you put this equal to 0, you will get x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 3 over 2. That's your x values. But remember, they ask find the coordinates of the stationary point. So they also want the y values. So if I want to find the y values, I just substitute into the original equation. So y is equal to 0 to the power of 4 minus 2, 0 to the power of 3, and that's 0. Maybe I just write already the stationary point. Continue when x is 3 over 2, y is equal to 3 over 2 to the power 4 minus 2, 3 over 2 to the power of 3. Now, how do I press on my calculator? Just do it on your calculator. Bracket 3 ABC to close the bracket to the power 4 minus 2 bracket 3 abc to close the bracket to the power 3 is equal to negative 1 and 11 over 16 and that will give me 3 over 2 and negative 1 and 11 over 16 okay now, it's always good because the question was almost like sec two parts to say, therefore, the stationary points are zero, zero, and 3 over 2, negative 1, and 11 over 16. Okay, now I'm going to determine the nature. If I want to determine the nature, I'm going to find the second derivative. We try that method. And I multiply, and that's 12x squared. I multiply minus 12x. And that is my second derivative. Now I start again. When, just move it up. When x is 0, d squared y over dx squared is equal to 12, 0 squared minus 12, 0. And that will give me zero. Now, as soon as I get zero, I don't get positive, I don't get negative, I get zero. I must know it's a point of inflection. So I say, therefore, zero, zero is a stationary.
point of inflection. Okay, now I'm continuing when. Okay, before I did do, I just want to show you, it's not necessary, but because I'm not going to go into sketching, but just to see if that point of inflection will do, okay, I just want to get the pen, if, if it will do this, or if it will do this, it's a decreasing or increasing, I must use my first derivative function, so, and I use my number line, so the first method. So if the first method, this is 0, this is negative 1, this is 1. So if I'm going to substitute, I'm going to say if, if x is negative 1, dy by dx, and substitute in this one for negative 1, 3 minus 6, negative 1 squared. And that's going to give me negative 4, negative, negative 10. And, and you just focus on the sign. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it now together. And if x is 1, then dy by dx will be 4, 1 to the power of 3, minus 6, 1 squared. And that's 4 minus 6, and that's negative 2. And that's also negative. So this one is going to be like this, then zero, then like this. Okay, this will be a decreasing point. But it was not necessary because they didn't ask me to sketch. Let's move on. I'm going to move it still a little bit up. And say when x is 3 over 2, uh, and now again in my second derivative, And now it's 12 and it's 3 over 2 squared minus 12, 3 over 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to press it on my calculator. 12 bracket 3 ABC2 close the bracket um, square minus 12 bracket 3 ABC2 close the bracket equals and that's 9. And I'm only interested in the sign. It's bigger than 0, so it's positive. And remember, if it's positive, it's a minimum point. So therefore, 3 over 2, negative 1, and 11 over 16 is a minimum stationary point. Okay, I just want to show you, I was using that symbol lab and I was just making a quick sketch of the, the graph. Let me just show it to you. So I was just typing on the internet, symbol lab, and then I went to graphing, and then I was typing in the function, and let's just look how nice it is. There is your point of inflection at 0, 0, and there is your minimum point. And this is how the sketch or the graph of this function will look. But it was not necessary. I just wanted to show you all this information into a sketch.